Well, hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Karen Henry, and welcome to The Learning Table. This webinar series is designed for busy professionals like yourselves to discover the science behind custom-made footwear right from the comfort of your clinic. What we're going to learn today uh, is who is a fanapulia? What is custom-made footwear, really? How is it made? Who actually needs it? How our program works? And why this is so important um, for not only your patient, but for yourselves in your clinic environment. Then we're going to open up um, to a Q&A at the end of this webinar so we can get all your questions answered. So let's talk about Afanapulio. Um, Afanapulio has been dedicated to providing custom-made orthopedic footwear for the last 60 years. We specialize in severe pathologies and are often the only solution for those who cannot be fitted with any other type of footwear, either off the shelf or even modified. We're entirely Canadian made and now available coast to coast through partnering with professionals like yourself. Fana Pulio is a proud provider of the Canadian Department of National Defense. We work with workers' compensation boards, health and welfare, NIHB, veterans affairs, and of course, private insurance. This is a snapshot of our team and a small shot of our lab. Uh, our lab is staffed with a master craftsman, three orthotists, and a team of 12 skilled shoemakers. We have a delivery time of approximately two months from the time we receive your order in our laboratory. 95% good fit for the first time or with a very minor adjustment. We stand behind our products to provide the satisfaction, even if it means redoing the shoe at no cost. And we're servicing clients in more than 50 locations in Manitoba, Ontario, Maritimes, BC, and Quebec. So what is custom-made footwear? Custom-made footwear is actually made from a mold of the patient. Uh, it's very unique to that patient, both the last and the pattern that we create. It's entirely made to measure for that patient and made mostly by hand. Although we do use state-of-the-art equipment uh, at every station, uh, but mostly by hand. So there's a lot of time and care that goes into the making of that footwear. Uh, it is not footwear that can be purchased off the shelf. Uh, or existing footwear that has been modified. It's completely custom made and designed from um, the mold uh, for the, of that pathology. So this is the beginning and this is where we can work together. Uh, your patient is yours to see and assess. Uh, and of course, do the molding and casting that we require to create an excellent product. This is an example of an STS sock cast which we recommend because they're easy to work with and they're very light to ship. Also a full charge foam box generally and some excellent measurements. Once we receive that in our laboratory, we can create the magic of that custom made shoe as if the patient was right there with us. So thank you for taking the time to really uh, pay attention to those measurements and those molds and we can create an amazing result first time around. So how is it made? Well, it takes about 890 consecutive minutes or close to 15 working hours, 12 trades involved, years of experience, and on average, it takes about two months from start to finish, unless there's an emergency, of course, um, but uh, usually uh, we're well within that two months time frame. And a lot goes into making it. First of all, there's the evaluation, the molding, the measuring, the photo print. And this is a very crucial uh, stage that's done at the clinic level, meeting with that patient, making sure that we get a great uh, STS stock, sock mold or a scan. We can use scans as well. Uh, but it's very important that we get a proper mold of the patient's foot, proper measurements, uh, and we have very specific measurements that we ask people to take, and a print print outline of the foot 
So once that's done and it's sent into our lab, then the process of conception starts. Uh, our orthotists take a look at all the things that we've just um, going to be just looking at in terms of what our process is involved with that conception, understanding that pathology and what needs to happen so that we can create a last. Uh, so we start the last production. You'll see that in a minute. We finish the last, then we go into the pattern making, create a pattern, select the raw materials, cut the materials, prepare the materials for stitching, uh, insert the attachments. We uh, do the lasting, cementing, preparation, attaching the sole, outer uh, and upper, and then of course, finishing and um, the inspection process. So all of that done, takes from start to finish, from the time we receive the information in our lab, um, approximately 15 full working hours of 12 different trades. And uh, it's about a two month process by the time we get it back to you. So there, there is a lot involved. So here's the first phase. Uh, when we receive your mold, uh, we use a laser beam to scan the foot uh, and we actually use some of the most advanced software in the world. Uh, many of you are probably familiar with Borum technology. Uh, so once we have that uh, mold in our possession, we enter everything into our computer technology. So once we have the scan of the foot, it goes up on a screen and it's analyzed. Now the software alone doesn't guarantee the performance of the end product. It's really the expertise of the technician that is the key here. Uh, they can take a look at everything and know exactly what's going on from um, this technology. So with this technology, things are far from trial and error. The computer-aided design, which is called a CAD, uh, this is it at its best. The last, which is the blue line, is superimposed over the foot, which is the red line. Thus, the technician assesses the accuracy of its work. Same process is repeated for the other foot. With our technology, it gives the technician the opportunity to visualize the uh, pressure points. Uh, which optimizes its opportunity to provide a custom-made shoe with a perfect fit first time upon delivery, eliminating the need for the old plastic trial shoe. Trial shoes have become a thing of the past unless absolutely necessary for special cases upon request. Afana Pulio takes pride in shorter delivery times as a result of increasing customer satisfaction and convenience. Once the computer-assisted design, the CAD, is completed, we make the last through our computer-assisted manufacturing system called CAM. So basically, it's an exact replica of our design, and no wonder the repeat orders match the first pair perfectly. This creates a last where our master shoemaker can make sure that the last will answer all the orthopedic needs of the customer. It's like having the foot right there with him. And we usually hold on to these lasts for five to eight years, depending. Uh, and they are recyclable. Once a physical last is created, our master shoemaker makes sure the last will answer all of the orthopedic needs of our customers. We hold on to these lasts as long as they're needed. And when they're no longer needed, they can be broken down and recycled. The next step is to create a pattern. Each piece of the footwear is designed based on the last. This is a crucial step to ensure comfort, quality, and durability. Our next step is pattern and cutting. We are skilled pattern makers using computer-assisted designs for the shoe upper. Once we have our template or our pattern, we're ready for the cutting stage. Although it looks like a pretty basic step, the sewing is critical and requires sound competence. Here, a job well done means the precise fitting of one piece to another. Details such as symmetry of the stitching, its length and its width, the impact on the quality of the shoe and its resistance to wear. The last 
here with its integrated orthotics gets the insole adhered. This is the final step before the completed upper is fixed onto the last. Now that all the pieces are sewn together on the upper, as you can see there, it's time for mounting it onto the last. The upper is assembled onto the last. A Fanapulio uses only the state of the art industrial grade shoemaking machinery, thus producing a high quality product that's unique in the custom shoe manufacturing industry. The midsole. At this step, when a shoe must have a midsole, the latter is assembled to the shoe with a piece of press equipment designed for strong pressure. Everything's about the finishing. Once the upper assembly to the last is completed, the leather's trimmed or skivved at the insole junction, a shank is put on and we add cork. Thus, we have a smooth, high quality surface ready to receive the out outer sole. The outsole finishing is an important step for the angles, the camber, and the symmetry are key elements for a quality product. Once all of those previous steps are completed, the last step before shipping the product is the final inspection. A quality control checklist is countersigned by the person who has performed the, the final inspection. A Fanapulio tracks on computer every step of the footwear manufacturing process from the first measurement step right through to the shipping of the final product. Whether it be light foot problems or severe issues, we're proud of our first trial success rate. That increases the efficiency rate and the speed of delivery time significantly. So here's a look at uh, one of our walls of lasts, as we talked about a little earlier in the presentation. Uh, we keep these uh, for each one of our thousands of clients over the years. Uh, we usually hold them up to from between five to eight years uh, based on the uh, condition and the pathology of the client. And here's just a few of them. We've been at this for a long time, over 60 years. So uh, we do eventually have to break those last down. But the good news is, is we have everything stored in the computer system. So whether you're a client of ours for the next 20 years, we will always have a record of your patient, everything that we've done from start to finish on them, and exactly how to uh, do a remake of whatever pair of footwear it is that you need. So that's one of the advantages of working with our technology, uh, as well as our old school craftsmanship. So now that we've talked about who we are and what custom made footwear really is and a little bit about um, our process and how we go about creating these amazing pieces of technology really. Um, let's talk about who needs them. You're probably asking yourself, man, you know, this is, is quite the process, but who really needs this footwear? So here are some of the severe pathologies that we have solutions for. The good news is that it's probably really only about 3% of the population that actually needs custom made orthopedic footwear, but it's really, really important for those that do that they can get it because when they really need it, they really need it. So we are truly a solution for many people if um, and, and really their last resort in, in a lot of cases, and especially in some of these cases, you know, we see Many, many things. Uh, I'm sure you've seen a lot of this in your in your um, years of being a professional. Uh, severe uh, deformity, arthritis, mild to severe hallux valgus, but, uh, bunions are huge. Club foot, very, very common usually in our in our field. Charcoal foot amputations, trauma with or without joint um, limitation. Uh, Rhodesis, which is, I'm not sure what that is actually, <laughs> heel crush, diabetes, hammer toes, claw toes, odd and special sized feet. Sometimes people's feet are very different and they have to buy a couple of pairs of uh, footwear, which can be costly. Equinism, uh, permanent contraction or extension of the foot or part of the foot, elephantism, lymphedema, Cerebral palsy is quite common, polio, monohemiphilia, uh, drop foot with an AFO, 
trisonomy with 21 patents, dwarfism, deviation of the foot, heel and ankle, sensitive scars, extra large calves, problem legs, broken ankles with that have healed badly, parallel metal uh, bar braces clients, you know, so they need, um, we need to be able to make a shoe that will work with those braces, extremely severe pronation, supination over and above what an orthotic could actually solve, protection for patients in a wheelchair, they maybe aren't walking, but they need that protection, all those who can't be fitted with regular footwear and even modified footwear. And of course, um, anybody wants them on their own. So we can, we can basically create anything that anybody wants, but we focus on being a solution for severe pathologies. So we, we want to really work in partnership um, with professionals that are seeing patients that are in really severe cases. And um, in many cases, they really don't have anywhere to turn, uh, no other options for pain or mobility issues. And by making this a very simple process uh, and working together with our specialties and your expertise, we can provide that solution right in your clinic environment without you having to turn them away by just working together on a little bit of molding and casting. We have all the videos needed. Uh, if you are not familiar with molding and casting uh, in your clinic or haven't had a lot of experience with that, or maybe it has been a, quite a while, we have videos in um, available to you that go step by step to show you exactly what we need and the information we need to be able to do what we do best and that's provide that solution. So hopefully we can work together and help a lot of these people out. So after seeing the expertise and what goes into creating uh, this type of footwear, um, in many cases, your patient might be thinking or asking you, well, why does it cost so much? You know, we recommend uh, that it costs your patient approximately around the $2,000 mark we have a fixed pricing to the clinician uh, so that it keeps things very simple for you. We can talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But, you know, this really is a medical device. It's designed to help that patient with mobility issues, with pain issues. Uh, sometimes we can actually help to uh, correct, uh, you know, a gait or various conditions that the patient is suffering from. So when we look at a $2,000 price point, we really have to explain to the patient that this is a medical device, just like a brace or anything else. This is what's going to help them um, with their mobility. So we recommend, and that is totally up to you as a clinician, approximately the $2,000 mark based on um, again, again, how severe the pathology is and based on what your base price is from us. Um, so that's our recommendation. Many cases, um, your clients or patients will have some sort of insurance, whether it be um, maybe they've had an accident at work, workers' compensation boards, or maybe they've had a physical car accident. Uh, so private ins um, public insurance programs, they also may have private insurance. You can always ask them to check with their private insurance providers for custom-made orthopedic footwear. Uh, DVA has a wonderful program for veterans uh, for custom-made footwear, Blue Cross Extended, We'll probably have some coverage for um, custom-made footwear as well. And of course, it might come down to the patient uh, paying for the footwear as well. In many cases, we have documents that you can um, receive from us to get a pre-approval uh, before you go ahead with custom-made footwear for the patient, just to make sure that they are going to be covered. And of course, those are all available to you in our back office in our clinicians program. So we're just going to take a minute to show you a few um, of the conditions and the pathologies that we see uh, that are pretty common here. This one is a severe bunions. As you can see, it distorts the foot, causes a lot of problems for fitting footwear. 
Here's another picture here, this poor individual. Uh, here's a pic of cerebral palsy. A couple of pictures here. Uh, this is quite a severe case. Uh, club foot, uh, again, is pretty common. I'm not exactly sure what this condition is. Looks like there's some lymphedema there. Uh, partial amputation and toe deformities are pretty common at what we see. Um, again, um, that's a, a hammer toe, I believe, there, and just a whole bunch of conditions uh, there. Charcoal foot, very difficult to find a footwear to off the shelf to, to fit a deformity like that. Some trauma cases that have been in accidents. Um, and again, just some very... Um, severe pathologies. This is obviously an ankle that is not um, healed properly. Uh, and the, here's some special sizing, different size feet. Uh, so there's all kinds of conditions out there that need custom-made footwear. And when you can provide a solution for them, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. And they're usually so thrilled. And here's a gentleman with some braces. We can either build an AFO into the footwear. Uh, we can do reinforced counters. In this, in this particular case, um, the clinician has decided to go with the outside stirrup brace. Uh, we can build the footwear accordingly, and then they can adhere the brace in after delivery uh, for the patient. So there's all sorts of options with reinforcements and with braces, uh, and we can actually become the brace in the footwear if that's required as well. Here's some of our finished products. You can see that they don't have to look like orthopedic footwear. Uh, they can be very aesthetically appealing. In many cases, I have so many clients that you put the footwear on and you'd never know they have a deformity. Uh, so that makes a lot of people very happy. In this particular case here for this severe club foot, of course, there's only so much we can do. We just have to make sure that that supports that foot properly and that person has a solution for their mobility and, uh, and to keep them strong. And we can jazz things up even in very difficult cases. This is a young fellow who wanted something a little funky. I'm sure he got a lot of attention with this um, with this boot. Uh, I mean, so many cases with these people, um, their life is a little dismal in the conditions that they're in. And if we can make them happy, it's as creative as you want to be at the clinic level. Uh, if you've got young patients or patients that really are self-conscious or really want something different, all you have to do is ask and we'll do our absolute best to make it as fun and as creative as possible. So just a couple of examples of that here. I was talking earlier about top stitching and we can do different colored soles. We can, uh, you know, you can see here on the on the top of the boot, we've, we've done some cutouts to make a little nice uh, pattern and design. So if you let us know, padded collar, uh, we can basically work with you on uh, your designs and your creativity and make it fun for the, for the client as well. So how does this all work? How can we work together um, to provide this for your patients and not make it complicated? Uh, we really wanted to make this a simple process. Uh, over and over and over again, I talk to people and they say, you know, I have patients and I know that they needed this, but I just had a bad experience or I wasn't sure if I could do it or I wasn't sure, you know, how to do it. So we want to make it as easy as possible for you to partner with us. Basically, it starts with you and your patient. The patient is yours to see. You assess them from start to finish. Um, we do, though, have, as I mentioned earlier, training on molding and casting techniques. It's available by a video in small segments in the back office of our clinicians program. You can watch that if you're not familiar with that process. If you are, then this will be a piece of cake for you. Uh, we bill you a fixed price, and that's usually on runner sandal, boot, 
um, hiking boot, um, uh, dress shoe, uh, whatever the make and model. Uh, we like to do a base pricing, so it's very simple for you. There are a couple of little additions uh, that we will have to do an overcharge for. That's all laid out in the clinician's program. It's not that often. We will always check with you before we go into production to make sure the pricing and make sure if we have other suggestions that are, that are easier to keep it down to the base price for you, uh, we'll certainly do that. Our turnaround time, once we receive everything into our lab, which means uh, your order form, pictures of your client, uh, your STS sock cast, your foam box print, and your photo uh, measurements and, and tracings. Once we receive all that information in our lab, it's about an eight-week turnaround time till you receive it back in your clinic. Uh, we have tons of back office support and all the tools that you would possibly need to be able to do this process. And we've even created marketing tools for you so that you can download them. And if you want to let clinicians or people in your area know that now you're providing this solution, you'll find that the word will get around and you'll be able to create uh, a solution for a lot of other people that maybe don't have either the skill set or the time to be able to put in um, to help people with the custom-made orthopedic footwear. So we really want to be a complete one-stop service for you. And of course, we're a phone call away. We're here to support you. If you have a severe pathology that you're not sure what to do with, we can certainly zoom in and be there with you right at the time of molding and casting or FaceTime with you. Um, we want to make sure that you're as comfortable as possible at at providing this service um, to your patients uh, seamlessly. And right now we are uh, basically delivering from coast to coast. So it doesn't matter where you uh, are in, in Canada, we are Canada based and we're totally Canada made and we provide quality custom made footwear to our patients from total one end of the coast to the other. So, um, uh, that we're proud of that, and we're excited no matter where you are in Canada to help you out with this. So I'm just going to open it up now for questions and answers. And uh, I thank you for your time. I thank you for your attention. I thank you for listening. And I also thank you for your interest in uh, wanting to be part of this solution. We're very passionate about what we do for people, and we love working with people like-minded to help create solutions for people and get more custom-made orthopedic footwear out to people in need. Thanks so much for your attention.